hello guys welcome to another video in the series of coding we are going to do a very easy problem it's called maximum depth of a binary tree so you have to return the depth of a binary tree let's take an example okay let's say that you have some binary tree like this you have to return its depth right so what is the depth of this binary tree so this node is at level 1 this node is at level 2 this node is at level 3 this node is at level 4 so the maximum depth is level 4 because after level 4 there are no nodes so we will discuss two solutions which are called DFS and BFS. It's a very good problem to learn DFS and BFS if you don't know them. So the DFS problem is uh, very simple. So what we will do, whenever we see a null, right, whenever we see nodes that are null, okay. So let's say we see children that are null, so they will be returning zero. So it's a very recursive solution. Whenever we see nodes that are null, they will be returning zero because they are at level zero. So this child of 5 will return 0 because it's at level 0 similarly the child of 6 will return 0 because they are at level 0 they don't have any children right but 6 will see that both of its children are at level 0 means it is at level 1 because parent is always one level greater than child right okay let's see let's say this 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 is at level 3 then this is at level 4 and so on right so parent is always one level greater than child so whenever the child is returning 0 parent will return 1 right so for 5 the left child is going to return level 1 the right child is going to return level 0 okay now 5 will say that one child is at level 1 another child is at level 0 so what is the level of 5 1 plus 1 it will be 2 right because if one child is at level 1 5 will be at maximum level 2 okay so for 3 the left child is at level 1 because this is level 1 but the right child is at level 2 so it will see the maximum of 1 and 2 what is the maximum maximum is at level 2 right so this will return 3 2 plus 1 is 3 so it will return 3 similarly the left side of 1 it is it it's at level 1 because its children are at level 0 right so it's at level 1 so the left child of 1 is at level 1 the right child of 1 is at level 3 so maximum of 1 and 3 maximum of 1 and 3 is 3 and 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 so this will return 4 okay so very simple let's quickly discuss it once more and then we will go forward to coding it right so this is the dfs based solution so we'll start from here right so just taking the example so 6 is at level 1 this child is at level 0 maximum of 1 and 0 is 1 so 5 is at level 2 4 is at level 1 because its children are at level 0 maximum of 1 and 2 is 2 so this is at level 2 plus 1 3 similarly 2 is at level 1 because its children are at 0 maximum of 1 and 3 is 3 so 1 is at level 3 plus 1 which is equal to 4 so the maximum depth of this is 4 okay so this code is just two lines code let's see the code code is very simple just two lines code see if the root is null right that means that level is zero right that means that level is zero otherwise what you are going to do so just recursively call the function on the roots left child okay? then you call the function on the roots right child right and whatever they are returning return the maximum value of that plus one so whatever these two functions are returning return the maximum value of that plus one okay. let's sum it and see this should work so this is a simple uh, two line code answer and it's working now let's quickly dis let's discuss the bfs based solution now so for this you require a queue so you simply use a queue data structure and you put the nodes one by one so first you put the node one right then you pop one you pop one and put its children right one is at level one so next you put its children two and three in the queue uh, sorry so queue will be like this right first you put the first node and then you put the next node so you put the nodes two and three so then you pop two okay they are at level two then you pop two and you put the children of two in the queue but two has no children so you are just left with node three then you pop three you pop three and put its children in the queue 3 has 2 children 4 and 5 so 4 and 5 will come in the queue this is at level 3 right so then you pop 4 and you put its children in the queue so 4 has no children this has got pop only 5 is remaining then you pop 5 and you put its child in the queue 
so five has a child six now six is at level four then you pop six pop six and put a children no more children right so queue is empty so queue is empty so whenever queue is empty whatever level you are at that is the answer so this is your answer okay so let's code this so q so we will take a q q will be tree node star let's call it q first of all you can simply give the condition right if root is null you can simply return zero right otherwise you can push the root in the q and we'll just do the bfs that we just discussed right when we have to do while the q is not empty what you have to do at each level what you are going to do so for int i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus and what is n n is the size n is the number of nodes you have at each level right at each level what you are going to do you are going to keep a variable answer you are just going to increment it it's as simple as that so let me take answer initially answer is 0 at each level just increment answer and return answer okay so what you are going to do for each node just just take the node just take the node so uh, it will be a uh, it will be a node right so how will you get that so just uh, let's call it node it will be the front of the queue because it is the current node so at the front of the queue just take it pop it and put its children if its children exist right so if nodes left child exist just push it in the queue so queue dot push nodes left child similarly if the nodes right child exist if nodes right child exist just push the nodes right child in the queue that's it this is a simple bfs based approach both are having time complexity of o of n